Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the board, um, citizens should be aware that uh, town ordinance prohibits the overnight parking on all streets within the town of Hampton from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. from November 15th through the following March 15th. We're getting close to the 15th, so I'm bringing it up so people will be aware of the fact I'll bring it up at our next couple of meetings as well. Uh, zoning petition articles may be accepted between November 14th and uh, December 14th. Uh, articles petitioned for the annual town meeting, except for zoning, may be accepted until January 10th, 2017. If you are among those folks who have still not paid for the licensing for your dog, please do so with the town clerk's office as soon as possible. Uh, that will allow us to stop your pen penalties and fines. Uh, I can tell you just as a sort of a hint, um, we had some folks come in late in the year to pay their fines, and uh, in a couple of cases, uh, they paid well over $100 to license a dog that would have been licensed for $7 in the spring. So uh, the state statute puts these myriad escalating fines on that we have no control over. Uh, so we, we kind of would like people to come in and pay those, get them done, uh, and we'd like you to, to please license your dog in the spring when it comes due so that you don't have to be faced with these unusual requests to uh, pay huge fines or to go to court. Um, and we don't want to see you go to court either. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I did have a request this afternoon to uh, let people know that there will be a local energy solutions conference on November 19th, 2016, from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Gravoni Center in Concord. Everybody's invited. Come on down and take a look at energy efficiencies. Um, Hampton Beach um, State Park Fall Community Meeting, which is what Rick was talking about a little earlier, will be on Monday, December 7th. Uh, it's going to be run uh, down at the parks facility at the beach, uh, which is in the seashell complex. It will be from 5 to 5 to 6.30 p.m. State staff will be there to answer questions, uh, uh, try to tell you what the program is going to be for next year. Please drop in and say hi, listen to what's going on, and uh, maybe you'll have something to participate in the following year because they'll give you some good ideas, or you might give them some good ideas. Rooms and meals, uh, I did want to make note that uh, in setting the tax rate, the uh, finance department has informed me that uh, for some strange reason, even though they're supposed to be frozen, the state gave us $56,000 extra in rooms and meals reimbursements, which I think was very nice. Uh, leaf collection update, uh, the collection began on, on Monday, May 7th, and uh, will be completed on Friday, uh, excuse me. Monday, November 7th, and will be completed on Friday, November 11th. However, all of the things in life going on, um, keep an eye on the website because we have had some breakdowns of equipment and that may be postponed for a week. We're going to continue collecting leaves as we go through the fall and into the early winter, uh, just so that we don't have ex extensive catch basin problems. I do have um, a request which came in from UNITEL. We've been, we've been holding it now for about two weeks because it wasn't completed properly. Uh, this is to install poles. They're trying to serve with permanent installation of poles, the new facilities up on Drake Side Road, and they need a permit from the Board of Selectmen to do that. Uh, all of their paperwork is in proper order and needs to be signed by the Board. There are three separate items to be signed. Um, both the Unitel and um, the, the uh, telephone company have, in fact, petitioned jointly, which is required by law, and uh, they are ready for signature. And I'm going to hold that out so that we can act on that, I hope, tonight so they can get that work done before the window sets in. Um, the Army Corps of Engineers has completed the work. In the, in the harbor of, of rebuilding the, uh, uh, the barriers coming in. Uh, it took quite a bit of effort on their part. They were there for several weeks. Uh, the breakwater has been finished, uh, and now we have received a request from uh, Gino Marconi on behalf of the harbor 
Um, he is the harbor, the, the harbor master uh, for the Port Authority. There is a question regarding the, from the New Hampshire delegation about uh, helping the Army Corps obtain some funds for dredging Seabrook and Hampton Harbor again. It's silted in so quickly after the last dredge. Uh, and the question is, would the board like to participate in that? And if you authorize me to, I'll be happy to send the, uh, the authorization on to the Army Corps and ask them to, uh, doesn't cost us anything, but ask them to come in and please clean the harbor again so that uh, traffic can go in and out effectively. So that's two things to hold. Um, follow up on Monday's Board of Selectmen meeting. Uh, I talked to, uh, to Bill uh, Watson and uh, we're going to try to get a meeting together on the 14th at 9 a.m. just to sit and begin the process of talking about what they're planning to do on Route 1A. Uh, we, I've invited Public Works, I've invited Town Council uh, to sit, to listen uh, to what Bill has to say and what the state is offering. And I'll be happy to bring a report back to the board so that we know what's, what's going on. Uh, and I believe, I hope, that's it. Any questions for the town manager? Rick? Um, <clears throat> I have a question about that's sure. a Monday morning. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I would be able to be there, but, um, you know, because I am on the Hampton Area Commission. Yeah. Come on now, I think John uh, Lyons coming to Yeah. I did talk with uh, Bill Watson at the meeting, and he mentioned about that would be well, Bill's finally back to work, and, yeah. you know, he had an episode this year, and so. Yeah, his wife passed so, on. Yes. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so, do we need a motion for uh, for the Unitel license uh, for the for the telephone pole license? Yes, sir. We do. We do and what about the other one? Uh, yeah, I, I really think you need a motion uh, if you want to participate, uh, getting the Army Corps of Engineers to provide the funding to register the harbor, and they say it needs to be done again. So, I'll make uh, both those motions. Let's do one at a time. The first motion will be for the Unitil on I'll the... I'll move that. The, the joint poles. I'll second it. Where are these poles going? Um, Drake Side Road. Look at the plan. They're going uh, Pole Farm Road between Pole Farm Road, Drake, Drake Side, Side Road. Road and the 101 right. or the brewery. Okay. All right. They bring that power line down to serve those those new buildings. Okay. What it does is just complete. It will give them a loop, a loop. loop circuit instead of having a okay. dead end. Right. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Unanimous. I'll make that second motion. Second motion is to deal with the dredging dredging of the Hampton Harbor. Right. I'll second that. And I just like to say that you know we don't have as much industry as we used to have coming out of Hampton Harbor. But we still have a lot of boat traffic, a lot of, uh, we, we still have some fishermen that still work, a lot of them out of the Seabrook side, but quite a few of them still out of the Hampton side, both lobstermen and, and, and fishermen and in and the party boats. And we had a boat uh, up on the rocks there two meetings ago while we were here yep. when they had the King Tide. And uh, part of that's because of the of the way the, the harbor is, so I think we do need that dredge. So, and this is at no cost. This is at no cost to us, correct? Yeah. So the motion is seconded. All those in favor? Unanimous. That's that's now just so everybody knows that's now a federal waterway. <clears throat> the state has uh, released its jurisdiction over the harbor, and the Army Corps of Engineers has jurisdiction there except for moorings. Hmm. So any other questions for the town manager? Yeah. Phil. Rick. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 